Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and today I'm using a perspective from the April Fox box and um, I'm also using some stencils. So there's the perspective and the stencils are both star stencils. I'll link those up in the comments below so that you can find them in store. Um, I just wanted some different size stars and I'm using the No Limits collection by Coco Vanilla as well for this layout. So what I'm going to do first of all is cut some circles and I'm cutting a circle at nine inches from this piece of paper and then the, I think it's eight inches from the second piece of paper which you'll see in a second. I had this idea in my head and I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> so there's that circle and then we've got this lovely gorgeous striped circle as well, uh, paper as well. And I've got a circle for this. This has got um, this collection has rockets in it, and I just thought it would be really good to do some planets. So what I'm going to do is cut both of those circles in half, and I'm going to put them on each side of the page. So it's just something a little bit different, I think. There we go, and that's sort of how it's going to look. What I want to do and then I've got my photo strip here and I want to put the perspective in the center like that so that's sort of what what's going through my head and um, I want to put some mixed media though before I start to stick things down so I'm just sort of drawing a line underneath those circles just to give me an idea of where to put my mixed media um, it's not precise I just know that I need to go outside of those lines um, and it just gives me an idea of where to go so I've got this um, Distress Oxide, let me just tell you what the name of that is, Carved Pumpkin, <laughs> and I'm using uh, like a makeup brush to just put that sort of like a hazy, hazy area around where the circles are going to go. So I didn't want it to be too solid, I just wanted a little bit of haze there and you can see when I put the circles back on that's exactly what I've got so I'm happy with that and then I'm just going to use that same ink and I'm going to water it down a bit to do some splatters there on the hazy part as well and that what looks quite nice I think just adds that extra little bit of interest to the layout and I do some um, bigger dots which I make myself just with the brush in a couple of spots where there were things missing, you know, spots missing. So I'm just going to soak up the big ones a little bit with the corner of my tissue and then I'm going to roll over all of it with the, uh, with the whole roll of kitchen paper and that just dries it off quite well. So next I'm going to distress, dis <laughs> I can't even speak today, I'm going to distress the edges of my circles or my semicircles as they now are and just with an edge distresser just to add a little bit of extra texture to this layout and um, I'm going to do that same thing on both sides and then I'm going to stick those down I think nope okay no first of all right this is what I wanted to do with the stencil I've got a very pale uh, grey fine liner pen and I'm just going to draw some stars all around this orange haze that I've created. And so I do some big ones there and then I come in and do some smaller ones and put some of those around. And I'm going to skip through that um, so you didn't need to watch me draw all of them. It almost looks like pencil but it's actually um, a fine line grey pen. So now I'm pulling out my uh, tape gun and I'm just going to stick down these circles, or semi-circles, onto the page. And I like how we have them coming in from each side, I think that looks quite nice. Okay. So those are all down, so that's the basis of the layout and I just want to put some white splatters onto the stripy paper just to add that extra little bit of sort of space dust I guess <laughs> and so I just put that on both sides that's just acrylic white paint watered down and then I um, run my kitchen towel over that as well just to dry up 
what I've got there so I can continue working straight away. And it takes up some of the paint, but it does leave a nice little sort of um, sort of a snowy look, I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to start to pick out the embellishments that I want to use with the layout and um, and also mount my photos. And I'm going to mount it onto that black star paper, just the same as the back of the planets that I've created, because I think it makes the photos pop. Okay, um, I'm going to also put those on foam so that I have... Um, pop them up off the page and I'm distressing the edges also of the mounts that I made for the photos. Okay. So I like how that looks and um, yeah just sort of pops up and uh, the perspective doesn't need popping up because it's already quite chunky so it works well there. So here we go, just bring in some bits and pieces to embellish my layout. I, um, I get out those stars, which I don't actually use, but I like how they look on this video. I just was trying to force them, I think, and it didn't really work. So, um, so that's a shame, but um, I make the layout without them. So uh, forget about those stars. <laughs> There's an arrow there. I'm still deciding what to do with the um, rockets. That, that little tag says smile big and I'm just trying to put some embellishments over on the left on the right hand side as well to balance out the layout like that big star so I'm using that and uh, chipboard pieces here I'm going to use um, to the moon and back just up there with that big star which I really like and sort of you know that goes with having the rockets launching. I tried to move those rockets around but I think they worked best there. Just got a little blue star here which I don't think I actually use in the end. Um, but there's, there are so many stars in this kit, lots to use all together. And little arrow that I'm going to use on there. I'm going to start to stick things down um, because I know what the layout what I want the layout to look like. So I use a bit of tape and a bit of glue sometimes to stick down those photos. Actually, I just used the tape this time. Sometimes I do use glue as well, but um, yeah, I use some glue on the smaller one just to make sure it stays there. And it helps stick down the things that are underneath as well. Okay, and I've got those little photo corners which are also in the Fox box. I'm just going to put one on the top right photo and the bottom left photo, just to add a bit of interest and texture there. Sticking down the arrow there. I'm going to put some foam on the back of this other arrow, just to pop that off the page as well. Sticking that directly to the photos, the little tag that says smile big, just gives it a bit of space there. I'm going to pop up the to the moon and back, even though it's chipboard and it's already quite dimensional I just wanted it to stick up nice and far over that star and I'm also going to put some uh, foam on the back of the rockets too there we go and the one that's got the flame coming out is going to be the one that's going up first and the other one's lower down <laughs> Don't know why I felt like the the one without it is landed. It's just on you know landed down, and the other one's moving. So um, that's what went through my head there. Fun times. <laughs> okay, what's coming next? Oh, it's just some more little bits and pieces from the chipboard to put in there to add little pops of colour. I'm gonna glue down my perspective. And that's just scotch tacky glue that I use and it doesn't grab instantly but it does dry fairly quickly so it's quite good for that purpose sticking down these other bits I always stick everything even if it's sticky already just to make sure it stays on in my album and I'm going to draw on some more stars with the stencil just here on this page paper here 
and I do some big ones and some smaller ones just to add a little bit of extra interest in that white space although it's not white space because I have pa fancy coloured paper there but it's um it's kind of, there's nothing else there using the different sizes there and I like that my new favourite thing to do is to draw through the stencil with a pen rather than ink. <laughs> okay, I added a few more to that orange hazy section as well. Just to add a bit of extra interest and what am I thinking here now? Okay, another arrow. I'm just going to put an arrow down, glue it down pointing to the rockets and then I've got some little puffy stickers I think from this collection which I'm going to get some stars from. Yep. So I'm just going to stick a few stars down on both sides and then there are some little sort of little round planetary type dots which I'm going to stick on to the rockets to give them a bit of extra interest as well. And that's it. Here comes the final layout. There it is. I hope it inspires you for using your perspectives and also for using the No Limits collection from Coco Vanilla, which I think is fabulous. Um, there are some close-ups coming up as well, so you can see the inking a little bit better and the stenciling. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Otherwise, I'll link everything I used from the Bramble Fox store below. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love, love you to do that. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Bye-bye.